Tell us about the project. Well, we're pretty wildfire aware in Colorado because we have big fires out there. And we saw what was going on in Paradise and we just decided we needed to somehow get involved. And we saw 15,000 people had lost their homes, which is just unimaginable. And so I said, Luna, what do you think about buying an RV and driving it out and giving it to somebody? So Luna, what did you think <laughs> when your dad told you that you were gonna drive across the country to give away some RVs? God and Santa Claus will be really proud of us. <laughs> she got this whole thing figured out right now, don't she? <laughs> Woody, with so many people in need of help, how do you select a family? I mean, it, it's kind of impossible to pick someone to give it to when so many people, I mean, there were 15, 50,000 people that were homeless, what? newly homeless, but we found a a family that had four young kids, um, a, a one-month-old baby, and the father had lost his home, but he still had his job. He's a solar technician, and he was commuting about two and a half hours a day to get to his job. And I said, Jeff, why are you commuting so far? And he said, well, I really want to keep my family together. And uh, yeah, I mean, my house never burned down, and I, I wasn't able to keep my family together. So anything we can do to help somebody out like that, right. you know, to keep right. his family, we yeah. can do it, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So after that, I heard that you set up a GoFundMe. We did. We, we'd set up a GoFundMe initially, and you know, a couple people from high school donated like 40 bucks, and it wasn't enough. And I emailed everybody in Colorado to sell an RV that I could find on Craigslist. And one guy came back and said, hey, I'll sell you mine for 2,500 bucks. And uh, we were like, OK. And so we, we went to the bank and cashed it out. And then we put some updates on a GoFundMe. And people started donating, and we just started driving. We got it out there. Man, the thing that gets me about this story is not only the reactions uh, uh, of the people receiving the RV, but also how emotional it makes you. We got that on tape. Let's take a look. And um, mm -hmm. we want to give you guys one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we've got one. You can, we've got one. You can put your whole family in, and we have. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, 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 that's genuine kindness, man. It's like what you were saying about keeping a family together. What is it that makes you so emotional about this whole thing? If your neighbor's house burns down, everybody kind of rallies around and helps them out. But when the whole town burns down, everybody loses their homes, everybody loses their jobs. It's a much bigger deal than that. And once we went out there, you know, we went to Target and the lady checking us out had lost her home. We went and had lunch and three of the waitresses were working. They had lost their homes and we were just, we were blown away a little bit, overwhelmed. Yeah. And then, you know, my, somebody messaged me, a good friend of mine named Anna messaged me, said, hey, I know you well enough to know you're probably overwhelmed. If you need to help me to help you start matching up people who need help and people who, who can offer help, I can build a database for you. And I was like, okay. Wow. And then a guy sent me a message on Facebook and he said, hey, I've got two RVs I want to donate to you, but I need a charitable deduction letter. And I was like, well, I can't do that. And then my phone rang again and it was a guy who said, hey, I'm gonna, a guy named Larry. He said, hey, I'm an attorney and I'll give you free legal services if you need <laughs> any help. And so then I just, <laughs> yeah. I, I realized I wasn't driving. You yeah. know, I, I realized yeah. that, that those, you know, that God got involved, and I just said, "All right, you're driving. Let's go." And <laughs> so since then, we've delivered 48 RVs. Really? Yeah. No, no. What, what, what do you do when you, when your dad starts crying? Um, I say, "Suck it up, man." <laughs> <laughs> You know, man, is it, you know, we're, we're so moved by your acts of kindness, you and your daughter, Luna, man. We want to kind of help keep your kindness going. So uh, we're going to donate $5,000 on behalf of the Thanks, show. Man. You know, see what we can do. That's for you, Luna, for doing a good job. <laughs> Big thanks to Woody and Luna for being here. If you want to donate money or an IV to their cause, all you got to do is head over to stevetv.com for more information. We'll be right back, everybody. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.